Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In JP, War of the Visions, they are doing a user survey. So uh, let's go through, let's answer some questions. And then uh, my favorite uh, Japanese War of the Visions YouTuber is uh, Shimura-san. And he always uh, records his going through the uh, survey. And uh, I always enjoy those. Uh, and that kind of inspired me to uh, make my own videos of these. And I'll link to uh, previous surveys down below. I might link to a lot of stuff, uh, this video. <laughs> Alright, but first... Have you played the new game mode uh, for the guild? It's like a castle uh, break or something. And then uh, what did you think of it? And I put, it's not interesting. And I think pretty much everybody's gonna put, it's not interesting. I saw polls on uh, Twitter as well. It was like over 70% uh, were not enjoying it. And then at the bottom it asks, uh, how can we improve it? And then I'm not going to say, you know, all the stuff that everybody else is saying, because uh, that's going to be covered, I'm sure. But I said I was looking forward to uh, content that uses the map. Uh, but although this mode shows like a battlefield, uh, it's not really a map at all. It's just pretty meaningless, uh, all of the uh, different castles and like their position and stuff. And then uh, somebody commented on one of my videos, and they had the nerve to suggest to me that uh, War of the Visions should include maps. It's like they know nothing about my channel. <laughs> uh, but I'll also link down below uh, to other videos where I've talked about um, how I would like more maps in the game, uh, what they mean to me, and then other game modes and whatever that could maybe use those. But I'll talk about all of this more later in this video. I'm just kidding, by the way, about uh, being annoyed by this person. These are videos that I made some time ago. Okay, anyway, uh, next question about the dream upgrade. How can we improve that? Um, I said, if they are going to release characters at the uh, pace that they are, I want them to give out more antlers. And then the uh, dream upgrade is not going to uh, motivate me to uh, spend in the game. So I don't care about scrolls, and even if I have them, I will not use them. And um, actually, the only time I have used these scrolls is when I made that video demonstrating how it works. But yeah, I'm not going to touch that. And then I say, I wonder what is the point of the dream upgrade other than uh, PvP? Besides just trying to get more money out of us. <laughs> okay, question nine. Uh, arena and match battle. Do you like these uh, game modes? It says like or dislike or neither. I put neither. Although I do respect the game modes, I think they're well done. Uh, I don't have any desire to play them, so that's why I put uh, neither. And then here, how often do you play Arena and Match Battle? I put really don't play at all. Uh, last year, I played a lot. And then Arena and Match Battle, how can we improve them? And I said, yeah, they're good modes. I don't think they actually need any improvement but I just enjoy the uh, solo contents more. And then the uh, limited time guild battles, how can we improve those? Uh, same thing here. It's a good mode, but I would rather play solo content. And then the uh, porcelain tower, how can we improve that? Uh, I said that the uh, the bosses and the, uh, the field, the maps, and then the uh, clear... Uh, requirements are not interesting. I want them to make it interesting. And I recently made a video about uh, PvE that I want to see. I talk about all of that in more detail, but uh, I want bosses to more like feel like bosses, and then I want the, uh, the maps to be more interesting, and then I want uh, different uh, clear uh, parameters. Uh, here, the uh, Trials of Reckoning, how can we improve that? Uh, I say I just don't like this mode, so I don't really play it. And then here, uh, User Interface, how can we improve that? I don't really have any problems with that, so I just left it blank, basically. And then the, um, the Job-Based Buffed Vision Cards, how can we improve that? Um, I said I would just like an easier way to see uh, which characters get the, um, the buffs from it. And then, uh, what kind of content would you like to see? New game modes in the future. 
in parentheses, solo, guild, uh, guild versus guild, or guild versus uh, computer, I guess. And then I said, this is actually not in relation to like how many players or whatever, but I want content that uses maps. <laughs> and I said this uh, from pretty much close to the uh, release of the game. But I was thinking about it, like in previous videos, I was saying like, you know, add something like the ogre battle system where uh, you can move teams across a map. But I thought about it, that might be too uh, intensive, especially if it were a PvP. It would be a two server intensive. So I rethought it. And then what if it were like a board game where it uses like those uh, hexagon like tiles? You could move uh, characters around that or teams rather. Uh, maybe like, you know, move three tiles or whatever. And then if you uh, come up against a, uh, an enemy in another uh, adjacent tile, then you would enter the battle uh, like we already have in the game. And then that would be a way to kind of add uh, sort of um, a strategy kind of beyond in battle. More about like movement or uh, placement or whatever, looking at the uh, terrain. And then uh, also just getting more maps in the game, which I would really like. So yeah, hopefully they can add some more of that in there. And here, let's see, asking about this story, uh, which character would you like to see more? I put Lanel. And then which character do you not like? I put none. There's no characters I really dislike. I wonder if they'll take like the character that is the least popular and like kill it off in the story or something. <laughs> okay, and then here, in the story of War of the Visions, what kind of stuff would you like to see? Uh, the three uh, things that you could add. Uh, more of a uh, kind of a look, like a serious look at the world, or more jokes, or more seasonal stuff. Jokes and seasonal stuff I don't care about, but I did say I wanted to see more uh, kind of world stuff, and I've talked about this in multiple videos, but uh, War of the Visions kind of uh, flirts with hard world building, but doesn't really put in the uh, the work uh, to do it. Uh, I hammer on these points all the time, but like history, mythology, religion, geography, uh, War of the Visions is like missing all of that. So it kind of has like a very uh, superficial sort of world building, but it doesn't do anything really uh, concrete. And it just focuses on uh, characters way too much, I think. And then here, for the fourth year of War of the Visions, what would you like to see? I put uh, more handouts, specifically more antlers, and then a new uh, game mode, hopefully for PvE. Okay, uh, what collaboration would you like to see? I put Ogre Battle, <laughs> although they could effectively cover this by doing Tactics Ogre and then putting in like uh, characters from Ogre Battle, like Canopus or uh, Deneb, people like that. Okay, and then do you have any final message for the developers? I said that I am looking forward to the uh, Chamber of Arms type content, and then I bring up uh, the boss battles in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius and how fun those were, and that if they could bring those kind of um, similar feeling battles to War of the Visions, that would be great. And then I recently did a community post where I showed off a new playlist that I made for my old videos, uh, going through the Chamber of Arms and then collecting all of those videos of those clears. And I was watching those videos and they were so much fun, I remember. <laughs> but like, uh, figuring out how to use your uh, account, your box, or like how to use your uh, favorite characters in order to clear the missions and then uh, clear the boss. I remember uh, it was very, very fun. But I used a lot of characters that were like kind of underrated just by the, uh, the general uh, populace. I really liked uh, Veritas of the Flame, and uh, Ace, and uh, Rena, uh, the uh, Sakura, she was really interesting. But yeah, if they could introduce boss battles, which would sort of kind of foster that creativity in uh, War of the Visions, that would be awesome. And then also bosses that more feel like bosses, that feel more epic. But yeah, I was debating whether in this uh, survey to write that if this Chamber of Arms content is not interesting, I'm going to drop the game, but I don't think I need to be that dramatic in a survey. 
Okay, I think that will sum it up for the survey. Uh, we'll see how the Chamber of Arms goes in January. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.